Virgo, this is your reading for September. Let's see which cards you have. You have the Judgment card, the Sun, Page of Swords, the Hierophant or Faith card, Six of Wands, and your Eight of Wands. The Judgment card is saying you need to take a different approach to a situation. Certain things are not going to change. In fact, certain things are going to try and get the better of you. And it's only how you respond to situations that's going to make any difference. If you continue to think in the same way, then you're going to get the same outcome. But if you can manage to remove yourself, which is what the knight is doing in the top of this picture, he is walking away from something that is set in stone. If you can reposition yourself, then you can look at everything from a different angle and maybe get some different answers, which will probably open up a brand new path for you. Because your Sun card comes in here, and the Sun card is saying, actually, have some faith because everything is going to turn out okay, and it is actually all happening in the way that you need it to. The Sun card isn't a high active card in terms of it's not moving at a fast pace. Sun card's horse walks slowly because he's enjoying the sunshine and he wants to take everything in his stride. So this month, take everything in your stride. Don't be impatient. Look at everything and understand that it's all happening for a reason because it needs to. And the next card out is the Page of Swords and again another horse, but this one is actually standing still. But he also has a scroll in his hand and the card is telling you. But from this situation, where you have a pause that has been inflicted upon you, learn from it. Understand what that pause is telling you. Because sometimes we can't move ahead at pace. Because if we do, we make mistakes. But if we go slowly, we can think more carefully, and we can be less likely to make a mistake. And we know exactly which direction we're going in. Here the sword is downwards into the ground, which means take your time to think about the direction that you really want to go in, because very soon that sword will get released, and the horse will start moving, and the horse will move very, very quickly. So get your act together. The next card is the faith card, the Hierophant, the teacher card. And, you know, in olden times, the popes and the bishops were our teachers. They were our spiritual teachers. And then we also have teachers, people who try to teach us something, such as myself. And in this, what is it that you need to learn? What is it that you're resisting learning? What is it that you're not taking on? Well, I would say to you, having read the other three, that maybe you're being slightly impatient, and what actually you need to learn is a little patient and are able to slow your life down so that you can just go very slowly, one step at a time. And once you can learn that lesson, you free yourself from the constraints of life. Because when everything is not going your way, you tend to want to control it even more, which means you tie yourself up in knots, and you can't move, because you've got such a tight control over everything. Once you know which direction you're going in, and that you've slowed your mind down, and you've worked everything out, and you've created a strategy for yourself, that gives you the freedom to move forwards in the right way. And then the universe won't send you another lesson. I personally know which option I'd take. I don't like having any more lessons than absolutely necessary. Because then your Six of Wands comes in and it says, as a reward, for learning patience and doing everything that you know you should do in terms of slowing everything down, you will win. So whatever it is that you're wanting to achieve at the moment, it is going to start happening for you. You've just got a little while longer before it actually materialises. So instead of trying to control the situation and push it to somewhere where it can't go, allow it to just happen naturally. Because once you do, the Eight of Wands comes into place, and the Eight of Wands says that you have all the confidence and all the happiness around you that you need, 
you've achieved everything and you're actually going to feel so much better for doing everything in the way that you did. Being a Libran, you need balance and harmony in your life. And most definitely this month, balance and harmony needs to be utilised at a slow rate.